Hey everybody, we have here an event box, otherwise known as a go box. We use it, or I use it, for working marathons, bikeathons, things of that nature, for charities and fundraisers. We're always paired up with the either the water station or medical station, or otherwise just a checkpoint along the route. So here we have a VHF go box because the ICOM V8000 is VHF only and it is mounted on a rotating platform so it's going to rotate upward and inside we have tether cord with a weight on the bottom now this cord will basically haul this antenna up into the air. This is a November 9 Tango Alpha X-ray N9 Tax Slim Jim antenna. It's VHF UHF and we'll mat that up here in a second. And then we have our microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my tab and then put the microphone on. Now I gotta be careful here because I'm about to turn it on, but there's no antenna connected. And I'll walk you through that in a second here. Now to the left is an 18 amp hour battery. Now the 18, the 20, and the 22 are physically the same size. One just weighs a little more than the other. And it's only three inches tall in this config in this. Um, layout I guess it's only three inches high so we have a Pelican 1450 the panel insert for the 1450 and when I say halfway done it's because I'm gonna have a aluminum panel covering basically the left side of the box now down here this reflection that you see here this is a low loss power gate LLPG and it has three outputs 12 volt outputs right now the radio is into one of them the input from the battery and then in the middle is an input for anything any 13.8 volt source solar control charger power supply and potentially even a larger SLA battery and that is the simplified version of this go box as you can see it's it's pretty simple I like it so this is Delrin cutting board from your local big box and this is basically the only custom piece in the box along with the hinge and of course the wiring is always custom I have two 20 amp fuses there and the the riser I guess is the word is connected to a piece of velcro on the bottom of the box the the hard velcro not the soft velcro even though it moves around a little bit so this when I take the tab off this clears the lid and that's it presto now let's set it up, make some contacts. Alright, so we have our antenna set up. We're just listening in on a packet frequency now. The National North America and Canada frequency 144.390. So those are packets coming into the repeaters in the area, and you can eventually see the that information on APRS decimal Foxtrot India. FI online. So this is not set up for APER, so I can neither send nor receive. But this way I have something for the video. <laughs> Apparently the repeaters are dead today. There's nobody listening. I'm the only fool standing out here in this triple digit uh, temperature here in the Miami, Florida area. But I figure 
this way you get to see what's happening. This is just really part one until we get the panel and then we'll finish up with the wiring and polishing up this platform thing. Thanks for watching.